All right, y'all, welcome back to Common Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're checking out something out of Singapore. Now, this is the Singapore Special Operations Task Force assessment process, which it looks like it's a two week process where they sort of bring in everybody from the Singapore Armed Forces and, yeah, it kind of tests their mettle, so to speak. So, this is a series called Uncommon Grit. And I gotta say, it looks like it's gonna be pretty high quality stuff. And it has like some English subtitles, so that always helps. But yeah, I imagine the Special Operations Task Force is kind of like our SOCOM or our USASOC, like our Special Operations Command, but I'm not too sure. So hopefully it'll shed some light on that as well. So should be good, let's check it out. <laughs> oh man, I guess, yeah, you gotta give that caveat sometimes. These highly trained men have special skill sets that only a handful will acquire in their oh, lifetime. Oh, okay. Whoa, was that an FN-57? Uh, well, I'm not sure. I know it's an FN pistol, maybe not a 5.7. Okay, pretty freaking aesthetic start, I, I gotta say, with like all the, the gear shots and whatnot. Well, I know it's an FN pistol, but maybe not the 5... It looks like the 5.7, which is a really interesting sidearm choice. Like, honestly, pretty pretty freaking good idea. It's got like a 20-round magazine and also uses a 5.7, which is a fantastic round. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Huh. Full of the in their lifetime. Cool intro, very aesthetic. And mission focus. The Singapore Armed Forces Special Operations Task Force, or SOTF, has always been an intriguing unit. <laughs> Their modus operandi is characterized by stealth, speed, and agility. Hmm. They're like modern day ninjas with high oh my god to come on in today's complex battlefields. I mean, yeah, I guess that's what you can categorize special forces as. But I mean, actually going and, and saying that is <laughs> okay. It, oh, okay. Oh, dude, the P90s, very cool. Yeah. So it looks like is that the five seven right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. I mean, it makes sense, especially if the rock in P90s as well. Damn, that is actually really freaking sick. I don't think we've seen any other military unit rock in a five seven. So that's awesome. I kind of want to see these shots they're again because like they're just ninjas sick. With high tech gadgets to aid them in today's complex battlefields. Jeez. The Special Operations Task Force is the unit that undertakes a wide spectrum of special operations, including counterterrorism, and they keep their edge sharp by national counterterrorism exercises. And these exercises keep Jeez. SOTF and its operators at the sharpest end of their capabilities. Oh, it ensures the P90s, that they are ready man. for any operations if the button is pressed. Okay. Nice. Nice facility. For the first time, our Damn. cameras were allowed beyond these walls to see firsthand what it takes to be a cut above the rest. We follow That's these sick. men as they embark on their journey of self-discovery and what it takes to be selected for the Special Forces qualification course and ultimately mm. enter the hallowed ranks of the SOTF. Okay. An honor only a few will experience. Yeah, so I guess kind of like our Special Forces assessment and selection, uh, you go through a selection process and then, you know, they'll, they'll decide if you're going to move on to the actual qualification course, which is, yeah, usually a, <laughs> a doozy to say the least, at least on our side. I imagine theirs is probably pretty similar if they have a, a similar looking training pipeline. Yeah, this is pretty freaking high quality stuff so far. Nice editing, good quality video. Good intro. That intro was actually really solid. Gave us a lot of background info. Interesting rifles. Okay. Man, showing up has got to be so nerve-wracking. It's nerve very early morning as soldiers, about 120 of them, arrive at Pasir's okay. camp, home of the Commando Training Institute. What you're about to see over the next few days is just a small foot in the door to continue their journey hmm. in the Special Forces qualification course and become an SOTF trooper. Huh. I, I'm still also kind of getting used to some of these uniforms. This is an interesting, interesting one. I wonder if this is like our combat infantry badge where if you've seen like combat, you can get that awarded. And then they also have a cross rifle. So maybe this is just like a, an infantryman of, of some sort. And become an Pretty SOTF cool. trooper. And it all starts here at the Special Forces Leadership School. I like the rolled sleeves. Joining That's pretty clean. Special Forces selection program is tough. Realistically, some candidates will not make the cut. 
it's physically and mentally demanding. You must be ready to adapt to situation, situation awareness, and you must be flexible. Oh, he's got Pathfinder. And able to make and Jump Master. Dude, his name is Anbu. That's pretty badass. That's definitely some ninja stuff. Yeah, that patch of sweets, Pathfinder badge, it looks like, and he's also a Jump Master. Oh man, he's got like everything. And you parachute his badge. Make decision under stress. And a great mustache. It's the first day, so I'm actually a little bit nervous. I'm not sure what to expect because I'm not here before. I feel it's very <laughs> village cost. It's not something that everyone can do. Yeah. Being in the naval diving unit, but we feel that it is in our nature to try to push ourselves to the boundary, to the limit. Nice. That's why we want to break our own limits and hopefully I can pass the selection. Yeah, diver. It's a good, it's a good position to start with. Easy. But I know that putting in the effort and uh, with the right determination and the right mindset, I'll be able to make it through with the rest of uh, the people who are here with me. Hmm. Hell yeah. Clean uniforms, I gotta say, I'm liking that. Within minutes, they get a small dose of the high expectations oh my gosh. that need to be met. Brutal. You make sure they fall in properly before you give it a hit cow. Clear. And a hint of what's to come. Are they cursing? Is that what's going? Go back to your back. Clear. Yes, it's <laughs> Oh my gosh. For the next two weeks, this will be home and testing ground for these SOTF hopefuls. The only thing about this selection is that the minute you step into the gates, the minute I start the selection, you are all the same, you all hmm. will be called candidates. As candidates, oh, they are yeah. all equal despite their ranks and backgrounds, and they will be it, so just what they're doing already looks very similar to like ranger school and at the same time kind of like how they you know strip your rank away and make you all equals which yeah obviously that's that's how it should be because trying to pull rank over another candidate like you're both trying to go and you know try out for the same sort of units and yeah if you're trying to do stuff like that you're definitely not going to get selected be so until they've earned their right to enter the ranks of the special unit hmm. You gotta put that privilege aside, you know. Most are from the 1st Commando Battalion and the Republic of Singapore Navy's Naval Diving Unit. Both oh, okay. Both elite units in their own right. Yeah, no kidding, nice. And then the others from the infantry, artillery and even the supply and transport formation to prove that they're equally fit and mentally resilient. Hey, good on them. arduous tests and ace them. Hey, they're there and that, that says the difference right there. I believe that from which unit I believe that I can do it, and also I have to physically and mentally prepare also beside my achievement if I done it. The Joint Special Forces selection may be a short two-week process, but for the candidates, it will be much more than that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Just a few hours into the first day of selection, the men prepare for their first test. Okay. A standard obstacle course. Nice. But for the these candidates, Kestrel? it's anything but standard. I'm gonna check out this obstacle course. Okay, they got helmets on. Uh, we've been through it Kit. throughout BMT. Okay. However, this case is slightly different. We've been through a few build-up exercises back to back. There's no no period to rest in between. Hmm. Okay. It looks pretty. Looks like an obstacle have course, the really. <laughs> to come here. My reason is to push myself and see how far I can go. It's uh. This course would actually mean to be the better soldier, a uh, better version of any soldier. Hmm. Knowing that my conscience is clear that I've trained hard for this course, that is enough. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking their attitudes. It's good stuff. Oh man, okay, what was that? Days. That looked like a pretty good little jump. I mean, I've done maybe like a 12 foot and then I think a 15 foot jump, but that looked like a pretty good one right there. Yeah, not bad. Over the next 14 <laughs> days, these men of different ranks and backgrounds will find out who they really are and what they're made of if they have what it takes to be part of this elite unit. Hmm. I think at the end of two weeks, the biggest lesson they take back is about themselves and their mental resilience and their physical toughness. And the instructors will try all means to break them. <laughs> to sift out the best of the best from the rest. Hmm. Okay. It's kind of interesting. Like, we're seeing a bunch of different... I want to see this, actually. 
Damn, they have a lot of like different kit, but it it all looks really freaking solid. <laughs> okay. Damn, okay, that's pretty freaking legit. Yeah, so I gotta say, so far it looks like a lot of things that I'm kind of familiar with or that I've seen. Maybe like a bit of a buds, you know, kind of like the same terminology also was saying like drop on request. A bit of like a ranger school or like a pre-ranger -pre sort of train up. Yeah, but so two weeks, two weeks doesn't seem like that much. I mean, I guess it being two weeks might motivate some people to go because if it was like a month long, then yeah, it's, it's a doozy. And I think... With the US military, some units will just be kind of adverse to sending people to certain things like that just because of how long it is, which kind of becomes a pain in the butt sometimes. But two weeks, yeah, you can get out there and go and do it if you have the right mindset. And it looks like a lot of these guys do have the right mindset. But two weeks can get drawn out very, very quickly, especially if you're working like 12, 14, 16 hour days. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be brutal, especially when you're hungry all the time, you're tired all the time, you're physically exhausted. Two weeks is going to, uh, it's going to be hell. <laughs> it's going to be brutal. Like there's no, there's usually no like comfort involved with this unless they're teaching you something, which for an assessment, yeah, they don't really need to be teaching so much. So it's literally going to be, you know, just pushing you and pushing you. And yeah, it, it's going to be, it's going to be a doozy of a two weeks, but this is a pretty freaking solid series so far. I definitely want to check out the other ones in this because yeah, it's just, it's very high quality stuff. Again, it just looks like, pretty freaking sweet I, I don't know if we've checked out singapore i'm sure we've checked about at least i've definitely watched some singapore special forces videos but the clips that we're seeing in here are definitely more modern and more recent and just more high quality in general so that's pretty freaking sweet so uh, yeah let me know what you guys think about this and of course if you guys have any experience with this selection process let me know as well but it looks like yeah it looks like a good one and I, i'm excited to finish out the rest of this series hopefully you guys are excited to see me react to it and, and watch it i guess but yeah if you guys like the video of course hit that thumbs up comment and let me know what you think head down to the discord let us all know what you guys are thinking but that is it for this video i'll see you all in the next one